welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super, super intensely glowy, dewy makeup tutorial for you guys. I am going to be focusing on the base only for this look, but seriously, I am obsessed. I love glowy skin and I just love how my skin looks every time that I do this technique. I'm obsessed. So if you guys would like to see how I get glowy skin, then just keep watching. Okay, so my first step, I'm going to be applying a beauty oil. This one is the Algenus Advanced Anti-Aging Repairing Oil. I'm just going to be using about three drops of this and I'm going to be applying this to my face. Okay, so now that oil's on, you can see that my skin is looking quite luminous, obviously because I just put an oil on. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let that oil absorb into my skin. So I'm going to give it five minutes and I'll be right back. So to prime my face, I'm going to start off by using the Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base in the shade Champagne. Oh my goodness, I'm getting short of breath. I actually wouldn't recommend the shade Champagne. I'm only using it to use it up, to be completely honest with you. The one that I would recommend though is the shade Rose. Rose is absolutely amazing. I would highly, highly recommend it. If I was to repurchase one, Rose would definitely be the one. This one just looks a bit weird and doesn't really do that much. So because it doesn't really do that much, but it does work good as a primer, it just doesn't really like illuminate that well. I am going to be mixing in just a tiny little bit of my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. Okay, next up, I'm going to apply eye primer. I've been recently just applying all my primers at once, then going on to foundation, and I do quite like it. Today, I'm going to be using the NARS, wait, hold on, no, Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. I put on heaps, and then I put it underneath my eyes as well, where I kind of just blend the excess underneath my eyes. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Clarins Skin Illusion Foundation in the shade Honey 110, which looks like this. And I'm going to be mixing that with just the tiniest little bit of Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops in the shade N40, just for coverage, not for color, because this doesn't match me. But I just wanted the tiniest little bit to just add a bit more pigment. And then I'm also going to be mixing in, and then I'm going to be mixing in the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunlight. These are absolutely gorgeous. You might have seen these trending on Facebook. That's where I first saw them and I was like, damn, damn, damn. They're beautiful. So I'm going to add like one drop. So I added two drops of sunlight, even though I said I was only going to add one because who doesn't love a glow, right? I'm just going to mix that in and then I'll apply that to my face. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to correct any blemishes that I may have using my MAC Pro and Conceal palette. This is the medium one. I really, really love this palette. I've used it a hell of a lot, if you can see. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit of this pinky tone shade. I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. Just to correct the darkness underneath my eyes. I'm just going to tap it out with my finger. So now I'm just going to use the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio in the shade 30 Light Medium. And I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eyes if I don't drop it. I've been dropping everything recently. So you might notice that it hasn't really brightened up all that much underneath my eyes. And to be honest, that's what I wanted it to do. I don't want it to kind of look like I've heavily highlighted because the skin is going to be so glowy. If you do want a super intense highlight though, go right ahead. Guys, I'm so annoyed and I'm so, so, so sorry. For some reason, my camera stopped recording and it didn't tell me that it stopped recording. So I actually did start applying my cream bronzer. I was using the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunset. It is a dark uh, liquid bronzer. But it's really, really gorgeous, but you do need a lot of time. It's what I have on my cheeks today. I'm actually so, so, so gutted that you guys didn't see me apply it to this cheek because it actually turned out so well. So happy with it. But I did just use this Real Techniques brush. I love, like, cream bronzing and cream contouring so much. It seriously makes me feel like I've dieted for, like, three weeks when really I've been eating Tim Tams. Well, no, not Tim Tams. Tiny Teddies all morning. These are my favorite ones, the Milk Chocolate. So good. So bomb. Okay, using the custom cover drops in the shade Celestial, you're going to give it a shake. For some reason, I feel like you just need to shake these. I don't think it says you need to, or maybe it does. I don't know. But I'm just going to shake mine, and then I'll apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. And are you guys ready for this? Because I don't think I'm even ready for this. Oh, 
I'm going to use Sunlight. I'm just going to layer it over Celestial. Really should have done it the other way around, but whatever. Okay, guys, so that's my base done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyebrows and eyeshadow off camera, and then I'm going to come straight back. And then I'll show you how I finish off the rest of the face. Okay, I'm back. So I've applied my eyebrows and my eye makeup. Now moving on to the face, I haven't powdered whatsoever. Not underneath my eyes, not my forehead, nothing. To go over the liquid bronzer, I'm going to be using the Sun Bunny Bronzer by Too Faced. It looks like this. There's two colors and it is a more sheeny bronzer, which I quite like. I'm just going to dust it where that liquid bronzer is. Not bring it too low because I still want to have that contoured and slimmed look to my face. Sorry about that guys, my camera actually died, so I did have time to set up my studio lights, so that's why the lighting's a little bit different. Anyway, I'm using my Becca Champagne Collection Face Palette, which looks like this. I'm going to be taking the blush on the end here. I don't really know what it's called, but it's the one on the end. It's like a shimmery, blushy color. I rarely use blush, but I really like this one. I'm just going to dust that over the apples on my cheeks, like the front parts of my cheek. Can you see that? Oh, so gorgeous. Now for highlight, I'm actually going to be taking Prosecco Pop, which is this one here. It's more of a golden highlight, and I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. I'm going to quickly apply just a little bit of Saw Lip Liner from MAC, just a tiny bit to outline my lips. Then over the top, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tartiste Lip Paint in the shade Namity. I don't know how to say it, but I'll write it down below for you guys. I actually don't like these at all. I wouldn't recommend them. They leak oil everywhere, but I do like the color. Oh my god, I was mid doing my hair and I forgot the last step and that was setting the rest of my face with powder. So I'm going to be using the Antipodes Translucent Performance Plus Skin Brightening Mineral Finishing Powder. Oh my god, why do they have such long names? Anyway, this powder is gorgeous. I love that it's a loose powder, but it does have one of those like lock sieves, so you can travel with it, so that's amazing. And it just gives the most beautiful iridescence to the face. It reminds me of those Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I'm just going to shake out the tiniest bit, and then I'm going to get a small detail brush. When I want to do a dewy look, but I do need to set my face, I do like to use a smaller brush just so I can kind of target where I want to set. And because this isn't a matte powder, it's not going to look too dry. So I'm just going to set around my nose and this midsection here where I've got a little bit of pouring. Pouring? Pause. I've got pause there. Same on the other side. And just the sides of my nose as well. Grab a tiny little bit and just set underneath my eyes. Even though I said I wasn't going to. And then the tiniest little bit on my forehead. I love this powder for setting my face, especially when I don't want to look too matte. I love it so much. And even if I do, I love using it as a finishing powder. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. And just to finish off, I'm going to spritz my face with the Mario Badescu facial spray spritzing thing. Just a few sprays. It looks really, really, really crazy because of my studio lights, but I promise you it doesn't look that crazy in real life. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this kind of like set for a minute and then I'll come back after I finish my hair. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. I know I did a lot of products and I did a lot of glowy steps, but honestly, I love glowy skin. If you don't want to look so glowy, you can kind of like dull down on the glowness. Either don't add so much or... Just don't do as many glow steps or both. Up to you. But I love how the look turned out. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped you in some way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and even follow me on my social media in links if you would like. I'm getting so tongue tied. I am the Happy Laura on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. So hopefully I will see you guys on there. And yeah. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.